All right, so now we're ready to start trying to post comments to Reddit. Let me close that. Um, so what we're gonna do is gonna go into our, actually, wait, we will, might as well make the API stuff first. So let's go into feed API, and we're gonna need to create a new post method for posting comments. So if we go to our postman, we can see, um, this is the URL that we're gonna use to post comments. So the uh, base URL is gonna be this right here. So I might as well actually just copy that and I'm gonna save that into our URLs class right now. So go to URLs and go public static final string and this is gonna be comment URL equals to, oops, equals to the comment URL. And that's just gonna be the base URL for the comments. So we can close that, go back to Postman. And so the things that are gonna change is obviously this comment thing right here. So that can be, that's gonna be very similar to how we did the, the, the sign-in thing. So um, this, this comment will basically take the place of this path variable right here. And the next thing will be the parent, which will take the place of this right here. And that's gonna be the parent comment that you're gonna be replying to or the parent or the actual post itself. Then we use this amp text parameter right here, which is gonna take the place of password. And that should actually be it. So we're actually gonna, we won't actually need this last query right here. So let's copy this and post it down here. And what we'll pass here is going to be comment. And I'm just gonna put comment right there and I'll place that with comment. And we'll change this method to submit comment and I'll get rid of all that red and we're gonna need a different data model this check login model isn't gonna work but I'll just leave it there for right now for the time being and what is our next parameter this is gonna be parent so we replace that with parent and we can change that to parent and this one is gonna be that weird thing uh, what is it it'll be amp semicolon text whoops we're gonna put that right here and we can actually get rid of that one and this is just, I'll just say text right here. And we can get rid of that comment. And do we have any headers? We have the mod hash. So if we're, this is this is one of the reasons why we actually needed the mod hash. And what the API doesn't tell you, like if you look at the Reddit API documentation, Reddit API, uh, Reddit, I can't remember which one it is, maybe this one. Uh, if you look at their post data here, um, what it doesn't tell you is that, see right here, it tells you that you need that you need a mod hash, but what it doesn't tell you is that you actually need a cookie too. If you're, so I, I had a lot of problems with that. I couldn't figure out why my comments weren't working and it's because you need that cookie. So that's, we, we've saved the cookie in this version, but um, the reason why I didn't think you needed a cookie is because if you, if you post a comment with Postman, you don't need the cookie. It works just fine. But as soon as you try and post, as soon as you try and post the comment, oh, where's the comment URL? What the hell? This one. As soon as you try and post a comment with Android or um, yeah, an Android app, you need that session cookie. So um, yeah, so luckily we have that now. So we're gonna, in other words, we're gonna have two headers. We're gonna have the mod hash, and we're also gonna have a cookie down here. Even though you can't see it in uh, Postman, it is it is definitely necessary for Android apps. So let's uh, let's take a look at what the response looks like when we actually post a comment. So. I've just put a random comment in here. Um, I'm not going to check it on Reddit or anything. Just take my word for it. It will actually post a comment. So if I hit send here, we can take a look at the response. And what we're looking for actually is right down here. So at the very bottom, we can see we get this success variable. This is what we're actually going to use to check to see if our comment was posted. So obviously, if it's true, the comment was posted. If it's false, the comment was not posted. And luckily, um, if we look up here, this jQuery variable right here is a list. And inside that list is here, I'll just click this right here and scroll down to the bottom. And we can see that that list ends right here. So we don't even have to go inside that big ugly list to get this variable. It's actually just sitting right outside. So it'll be very easy to get. So let's go ahead and create that object class for retrieving that information. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna call it uh, check comment. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be checking to see if the comment was posted or not. And inside uh, check comment, remember all we're looking for is that success variable. We do at expose and we can do private string success. And then we just do our getter and setter methods. 
and we can do a to string. And that's all we need to do for the data model for checking to see if our comment was posted. Very, very simple. Just, just, just lucky that it was simple. So here we'll actually change this to check comment. And that should be it for our uh, retrofit API stuff for posting comments. So we can close our check comment model. We can close our uh, feed API and we'll go into our comments activity in the get user comment method and we'll start writing the retrofit code for posting a comment. It's going to be very similar to the login activity stuff so let's just go into the login activity and I'm going to copy all this uh, retrofit stuff here and I'm going to post it right there and we just need to change a few things. So when you change this to our comment URL that we added before, we're still going to use the JSON converter factory. Uh, we still call the feed API, but our model is going to be different. And we just need to change the model. So we can change this to check comment. And this is going to be different. So I'll just get rid of that. And this is going to be, uh, what is it, submit comment. There we go. So um, yeah, the headers are going to be quite different. We don't need this. We don't need this content type header. Like I said, the first one we're going to need is the, where is it? Let's go up to headers. We need this X mod hash key right here. So we'll type that in there. And then we're going to type in the mod hash, which we get from our session parameters. And then we need to put uh, also the cookie. So we'll just pass the cookie. And kind of annoying, they didn't say that in the documentation. Like I couldn't find anything about that. So I just happened, I was frustrated and I tried to see the cookie worked and it ended up working. So um, just kind of stumbled across that. And also actually one more thing that they didn't uh, put in their documentation is this uh, user agent. You have to reference uh, what the username is also. And I don't know if the order matters, but when I was testing, I was doing that one first. So let's just keep it, keep it consistent. Oh, and this isn't quite right. This has to say uh, Reddit session equals cookie, just like that. It has to be, it has to match that exactly. So these headers are a little tricky, but um, after I figured it out, it was pretty simple. And here, I just want to log. Um, actually, I'm going to copy the log from down here. Once again, I just want to log the the uh, username, the mod hash, and the cookie, just to make sure that everything is going the way it should. So I'll just say on click. Um, you know, I'll say button post comment actually. There we go. Just just if something happens to go wrong, at least I know what my username, my mod hash, and my cookie were. Because in in my experiences that's these these are where the problems are gonna lie. Okay, now that we have all that we can uh, pass our variables. So we'll throw our header map in here. What was the next thing I forgot already? It was uh, the comment itself, the parent ID and then this uh, variable right here. Oh no, that was the text. Right, so it's actually just comment and then the parent ID and then the text itself. So I just need to pass literally the string comment and then the parent ID, so we go post ID and then the last one is just gonna be comment. So I can go this is a test comment. And you're probably wondering, you notice up in the URL here, these are all separated by percentage 20 marks. All that is is when it gets rendered to HTML, it's a space. So it does that automatically. These spaces will get rendered to be uh, basically the percentage 20. So just type it just as you normally would. All right, so now let's attach an NQ to our call. So we'll go new callback, and let's make sure that our server response was good. So let's. Uh, I'm just going to go into login activity, and I'm going to copy this stuff right here. And it, oops, like that. Uh, we don't have a progress bar, do we? No, we don't. That might be something I might want to add, actually, though. And then just oops, change this to comments activity. And that'll just tell us an error occurred. Um, and then here we're going to put our positive response. So let's go back into here. And once again, we can grab our positive response like we do every single time. Just put that in there. I'm going to leave that commented out because we have a custom data model that we prepared, check comment, to actually retrieve the response. And I'm gonna go back to login activity and I'm also gonna copy this whole thing right here because I wanna get this try catch block because in my experiences when I was testing, it threw a, a null pointer exception. So I'm just gonna keep that in there just so the app doesn't crash for if we need to debug anything. 
Actually, I'm going to put this up here just to encapsulate everything and tab that in, tab that in. And now we're going to get our success variable. So we'll go response.body.get success. And that was our uh, get success variable right here, which was the one at the very bottom of our server response, which was this right here. It'll give us true if it was successful and it'll fail if it's not. So, And let's go back to comments activity. And we just want to test this success variable. So we can go if success dot equals true, then we know we're going to have a uh, successful post. So actually what I'll call, I'll call this post success and change that. And then inside here we can just do like a toast. Actually I'll just copy this. Let's do post success full. And then we'll do else. We'll do, uh, yeah, an error occurred works fine for me. And then we want to make sure that we dismiss the dialogue when we actually um, post the comment. So dismiss. Actually, you know what? On the failure, I want to leave it out. That way, the person will definitely see that something went wrong. Chances are it will be like, did they, they probably didn't sign in. Actually, I could go an error occurred. Did you sign in? There we go. So now we actually should be able to post comments. So let's uh, let's run the app and actually try and post a comment to Reddit. All right, I'm just gonna go to the game, oops, gaming subreddit just because I've been going to pics and funny very often. And I'll grab the Reddit webpage over here. And I guess I'll just choose this, uh, this top one right here. So I'll go to the comments thread and we'll click on that one. And uh, so let's just choose any comment, I guess. Um, preferably one that doesn't have a ton. So no, it's from Mario Kart, didn't you see Luigi? So we'll go down to there. So that's this, this comment right here. So we'll click on that. And oops, I actually forgot to log in. So let's log in first. So log in, coding with Mitch and my password, go to log in. So logging successful, it redirects us to where we were before. And where was that post? Right there. So are you trying to tell me, no, no, this one. No, it's from Mario Kart, didn't you see Luigi? So we'll click on that and go, this is a test comment from coding with Mitch. All right, and we'll hit post comment. It says post was successful. Um, all right, let's just refresh the page. Hmm. Looks like, I don't know why, but it doesn't seem to like show up on here every time, but I know that's like here, I'll try and log in. So I'll go to log in and I'll log in with coding with Mitch and it will actually show up in my profile. So I'll go to my profile here and here it says one minute ago, I replied to a comment. So, um, but either way, it's not posting correctly because uh, what we expect to see was a reply to here. So it's uh, it's grabbing the wrong post ID. So we need to fix that. So if we go back into comments activity in our, um, the, the get user comment method is okay. And uh, this section right here inside of the init post method where we submit the comment ID is okay because this is the parent post. This is okay. This this comment ID is correct. But if we go up to our init method here and we scroll down to where we actually su submit a comment this way, this is incorrect because this is the parent post ID. What we need to do is go m comments dot get position and then reference that ID. And that's that's going to be the ID of the the comment that we clicked on. So let's try and run the app one more time and. We, uh, we should get a comment on whatever reply we chose, or sorry, get a reply on whatever comment we chose. So once again, let's just start by logging in. And also coding with Mitch. This, this might not post because um, this account isn't verified. So actually what I'll do is I'm going to log in with my uh, regular Reddit account because I know this account is verified so I can post tons of comments. And I'll skip the video ahead here so you don't see my password. There we go, login was successful. Now I'm gonna choose uh, subreddit. I'll just go to gaming again. 
and I'll choose this post and I'll just go to I'll go to that page on reddit so let's go to gaming or actually I'll just log out and I'll log into my account so Mitch Tabian log in and I'll go to my account and all right now we'll go to the app and I'll just choose one of the posts this one right here sure now this is a test comment from coding with Mitch so I'll just do post post was successful now I'll refresh my page and we can see right here this is the test comment and that is wrong because I hard coded that in I just remembered uh, if we go down to where we uh, post the comment which is here I actually hard coded the comment in which is definitely not what I want to do uh, what we want to do is take this comment out right here so we can go uh, down here string uh, the comment equals comment get text to string and now I will stick this comment in here and that will be good all right Write it one more time. So we'll go to gaming and choose. I'll choose the same one, and I'm going to go to login. And once again, I'm going to log in with Mitch Tabian. Login was successful. I'll choose a different comment. This still applies right here. So hello again. I'll just type and let's go post comment. Post was successful. Let's go to Reddit refresh my profile and we can say there we go now it's actually posting the correct comment so everything is working the way it should all right so we have our app mostly complete we can log in we can post comments we can post replies we can go to different subreddits now I think um, unless I am incorrect we should just be on the point where we're going to, need to clean up the app and make it look a little better so if uh, do I have the other one open? No, I don't. But uh, if you saw my demo video at the beginning of this tutorial series, that app looks much better. Like I designed everything uh, a little bit cleaner, just all around. And so in the next video, that's probably what we're going to start doing is cleaning up this app and making it look a little better.